welcome to part 6 of this 7 part video series on troubleshooting stuffed malolactic fermentations. In this video, we will be exploring the phenomenon of phenolic inhibition and its effect on MLF. Join enologist and senior application scientist Duncan Ham from Christian Hansen as he discusses the potential consequences on the fermentation and the solutions to overcome this challenge. Hi, thanks for tuning into our short video on stuck malonatic fermentation due to phenolic compounds. So what is the problem with these phenolic compounds? Well, unfortunately, some of the tannins and other phenols, such as phenolic acids, that are found um, present in wine, particularly red wines, um, have toxicity towards malolactic bacteria. Now, this toxicity um, in these naturally occurring compounds does vary. However, some varieties, such as Merlot, tends to be, tend to be quite high in some particularly toxic phenols. And this combined to a high degree of maceration and therefore extraction during fermentation can lead to high levels of these toxic compounds, which can then be inhibitory towards malolactic bacteria that are present. So how is the problem diagnosed? Well, advanced tannin assays are pretty expensive and um, quite prohibitively expensive to run. However, just simply measuring the IPT or giving a, a, a problematic wine a sensory examination can suggest um, whether there's a high level of extraction or not. This and the knowledge of the grape variety, particularly if it's a Merlot, um, can suggest if phenolic inhibition is in fact the problem of the stuck malolactic fermentation. So what's the solution? Well, to deal with the wine that's already stuck, um, finding the wine with a negatively charged finding agent such as polyvinyl polypyrrolidone PVPP, can help reduce the phenolic concentration, um, thereby making it easier for MLF to proceed. Of course, we'd strongly recommend doing a bench trial first to make sure the character um, of the wine is not stripped first, but we've seen some very good trial data where this has been um, employed successfully in the past with, with wines with phenolic inhibition. However, long term, the, we would recommend another solution, and that is to employ co-inoculation, thereby initiating malolactic fermentation um, during the alcoholic fermentation while you're still macerating and getting malolactic fermentation done before you've finished your full extraction, thereby basically avoiding the issue. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope that was constructive.